Hi guys, it's Lyra. This is obviously dreadful. Obviously, I have a head full of dreads and quite a lot to say. Many opinions, most of them unpopular ones. If you're new, stick around, have a chat. Maybe we can be friends. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, I love you. Let's go. Hi guys, happy Friday. How are you? I hope everybody is well. I hope you had a great week, a great day. I hope something good happened or that you did something good for someone else. I hope that you met a goal, set a new goal, help someone reach a goal. All the good things, all the good wishes, all the best intentions for you. Tonight guys, we are going to react to Tom McDonald's new song called Clown World. He just released this song today, so we are going to listen together for the very first time. Um, I mean, some of you might have listened to it by now, but my first time. Now, in the past, um, with Fake Woke and No Lives Matter, I had heard the songs and they made me want to discuss them with you. This one I haven't heard yet, so I'm going to just give a little warning that Tom McDonald speaks his mind and speaks what he feels and his truths unapologetically. So if you are easily offended, it may not be the video for you. I can't answer that yet because I don't know. But from my perspective, because again, I do not ask anyone to agree with me. I don't ask, I'm not telling you how to feel. But from my perspective, I don't believe that anyone should be offended by someone else's beliefs, opinion, thoughts, art, etc. Unless they are directly targeting, expressing true hate, um, causing damages, etc. Like we can all agree to disagree on things. Every religion, every race, every culture, every, um, we all have different beliefs we there's different belief systems different and it's okay we need to respect them all accept that others are going to believe what they are going to believe they are entitled to believe it unless it is damaging to someone else but anyway i don't want to go on a whole thing because i am a talker you all know and i'm very passionate about this cancel culture, etc. I just wanted to give that little warning. Also, I will link the song, of course, down below. Please go check it out. Leave them a like, a comment, a subscribe, a dislike if that's what you feel like. Um, but something, he is an independent artist. Him and his girlfriend do this. The artwork he dropped yesterday looks phenomenal. Um, the makeup in the thumbnail looks great. So I am sure it is a fabulous video that they shoot all on their own. So you have to give credit where credit's due, even if you disagree with the message. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. The last thing is that um, I do plan on doing another video right after this. I'm going to start recording. Otherwise, we can just go live if you would rather do that. Um, but I want to continue the conversation about cancel culture and hate speech and those things because we're missing some points, I think from discussions that we've had in the comments and other places. And I appreciate them all so much and I value them completely. I love getting your perspective, so don't get me wrong anywhere, but I think there are some things that we need to discuss a little bit further so that I can give my, you know, complete thoughts. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, that's it. So if you want to go live, let me know. We can probably do that or I will just record and put it up for you guys. There's actually a couple things I need to say. So have to break it up somehow. But anyway, we're not going to take away from Tom's music or from Tom's message or from Tom's moment. So we're going to support it because I do support independent artists, um, crafters, musicians, um, painters, sculptors, whatever your art is your art and it is valuable so 
I am a little nervous, but um, because it, I don't, I don't know what he's gonna say. So I'm hoping it's not too crazy, but we'll, we're gonna find out together. And again, guys, bear with me. I am using an Android um, so I can record from my iPhone tonight. And um, I'm not the best with it. So, all right, here we go. You worry about leaving a better planet for our kids. How about leaving better kids for our planet? Okay, well, he doesn't waste any time, but that's so true. How about leaving better kids for our planet? I don't disagree. Um, and I also do want to say if there's any parents that need just somebody to talk to, advice, bounce ideas back and forth, um, anything. I'm not a perfect person. I don't have perfect kids. I'm not a perfect parent, but I do try my best. And sometimes you just need somebody else who can relate to talk to, somebody else who gets it, um, in impartial ear, whatever. If anyway, all I'm saying is if you need to reach out, please reach out anytime. Entire generation offended at everything, getting mad that a human thinks all lives matter. We don't Okay, and then the all lives matter versus black lives matter. We talked about that previously. I'm not gonna go on a whole thing. Of course, black lives matter. Of course, all lives matter. And both are saying all lives matter, black lives matter. Um, black lives are the ones that need a little extra attention at present, um, which I wish they would actually maybe do something about, but you know, the government's too busy doing things they shouldn't be doing. So um, yeah, it, so much gets lost in translation once everybody politicizes things and then you get extremists on both sides and then you get chaos and then the message is diluted and lost and fighting and chaos ensue and it's just a mess when if really everybody would sit down and talk you'd all realize a lot of you are really saying the same thing of course all lives matter black lives at this time are the ones that need some things changed for them bettered for them um and I think we've all recognized that, but we also shouldn't be offended if somebody says all lives matter or if somebody says black lives matter or somebody, unless they are being hateful. You have to really look for someone's intent is just my thoughts on that. But again, that's my opinion and my opinion only, my perspective on it, and you are entitled to yours, but we're gonna keep going. I didn't know he was gonna come straight out of it. Well, I mean, he always does, but I mean, this was like quick. Tom, it is your fault. Um, yeah, because he can get me going. We know that. True, common sense. that's likely gonna make people a little upset about the the gender. Um, you know, he believes that there are two genders. Okay, that he's entitled to that belief. I can respect that. Um, that's his opinion. So, you know what I mean? Like, as long as he's not being hateful, disrespecting, um, causing damage to, uh, you know, different religions believe different things about, you know, genders and gender equality, etc. different cultures, different backgrounds. You know, that doesn't mean that people don't accept you. That doesn't mean as far as I'm concerned, we're not anyone to judge the next person. We can all have our own beliefs and hold those dear to us, but that doesn't mean we push those beliefs onto someone else. We can share them you know, or whatever, but we never ask anyone to change their mind, follow what we do, we're right, they're wrong. You just don't do that with anything. And I mean, in general, I think everybody should be able to believe, do, be whatever it is they want. And um, yeah, so I'm sure that's gonna offend some people, but I know, um, that I just have to take it as what I just said. 
I believe everybody is entitled to their beliefs and it's not my job to tell them they can't believe a certain way, they can't think a certain way, they have to fall in line or follow suit because that's not, um, that's not how humans are supposed to be. That's not free will, that's not free speech, that's not freedom, that's not any of those things. So, it, we might not like it, but as long as we're not being asked to go along with it, to agree with it, to follow it, it people are entitled to their feelings. That's all I'm saying. Please do not twist my words because I know that can happen easily, but I'm just going to keep it real with you guys. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to, you know, hide from hard stuff. Everybody hide. Nobody wants to talk about the hard things. Nobody does. And everybody's worried about being canceled. Everybody's worried about people not liking them. Everybody's worried about, and it's like, it, if I know I'm being true to myself, if I know that I'm coming to you with integrity and good and pure intentions, and that I really do try to keep a balance right in the middle, and I try to be supportive of everyone and offer encouragement to everyone, then I'm going to continue to share the hard topics and I'm going to share my perspective. And you can agree, disagree, semi-agree, maybe agree, think about agreeing, not care about agreeing. It doesn't matter to me. You're still welcome here. I still want you here. And I still appreciate you. Just the same. But anyway, you're getting on a tangent. I apologize. We'll continue with Tom's song. And it's so good so far. He's just talented. Again, whether I agree with everything he says or not, doesn't mean that I can't respect his opinion and I can't respect his talent. And the beat is amazing. And the visuals are incredible. For people to do this on their own, incredible. I think the system hates people too and fighting violence with violence we've talked about that it's kind of ridiculous but again that's just my opinion What's all this division for? It's modern segregation. This is setting up a civil war. Burn the circus down because the world is full of clowns. They're all is it not true? I mean, it, it is. We're getting further and further and further polarized and divided on all of the tough topics of all of the issues of all of the social justice missions and causes and claims. And why? Why? And that's exactly what those in power want. And I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again and I'm not saying it like it's some hidden conspiracy. If you really pay attention, it's just the truth. They want us to be divided. They wanna be able to come and be the, you know, knight on the white horse and they're gonna save you and they're gonna help you and they're gonna do this and they're gonna do that and you're gonna like them and they're, you know, they have your buy-in then, you know, you're gonna vote for them. and. Sorry about that if there was a quick cut there, guys. I apologize. My son needed something. And again, if you hear Fortnite, that's our house, that's our lives. He's allowed to play. It is Friday evening. We've had a good school week. We've had fun. I'm trying to get a studio in my office. And as the things I need come, we'll get there. But in the meantime, uh, I'm a mom and a single mom and <laughs> I like to hear my son play. So I know that's bothersome to some people though. So I, no offense, honest to goodness. I don't get offended like that, but um, yeah. So if you hear background noise, I apologize tremendously. And again, if there was a brief cut, I apologize again. I had to fix something for him, but I am back. And we're just gonna continue. Cause I, I don't know. I'm sure I was making a point, but it's okay. <laughs> when I was a child, the only races that we hated were the ones that we ran 
and didn't win. Then we stopped playing with each other, started hating on each other, started noticing the color of our skin. Isn't First that the truth? Hit. When you were a kid, the only races that you hated were the ones that you ran and didn't win. Think about that. Think about how powerful that is if we would all start remembering that. We didn't think about colors growing up. We didn't think, like, I was just taught to be nice to everybody. There's good people and there's bad people and that's it. There wasn't colors, there wasn't different religion. Like, those are things that weren't necessary to bring up. If someone was kind to you, you were kind in return. You were kind to others and hoped that they were kind in return. You, We've just overcomplicated so many things. So many things. Anyway. It's immigrants, patriots. We love the country, but we are not saving it. Wages don't raise to the rate of inflation. And half of the country hates all of the nation. It's funny that we think the world owes us some. All the phones got smart, but the people so dumb. We care more about the likes on a selfie than our moms. And the only time we ever speak the truth when we're drunk. We won't always agree. No, I don't hate all police. No, your thoughts and opinions ain't facts. And they are not defining my reality. No, I think picking sides divides. It's probably what has got us here. United States is great regardless. That's what we forgot in here. Black lives matter. All lives matter. What's all this division for? It's modern segregation. This is setting up a civil war. Burn the circus down. Cause the world is full of clowns. They're all stupid and they're proud. It's so true. And we forget how blessed we are to live in the country that we live in and to be able to, you know, create the lives that we want to live. And we forget that so easily. And we forget about those that have fought for it. And my sister is a career Marine. Her husband was a Marine, but he recently got out, but she's a gunnery sergeant. She's been in for 17 years. She's been to war. Um, I could never do what she does. I couldn't do it. it. But I'm so proud and I have so much more respect, even more than I already did, which was already a lot. For, you know, we're quick to say what, you know, stuff about the military or about the country, but we're not, you know, if we haven't put ourselves in the shoes of having to defend it, we have to remember that we wouldn't be able to even be offended or say the things that we say or think the, what we think or feel how we feel without those that had fought to give us those rights. So sometimes it's important to just take a step back and remember that, I think at least, but that's just my opinion. But anyway, we're almost done and let's go. on the internet till everybody hates you for it if jesus was alive i swear to god they all would cancel him because lately being negative is the real new normal yeah if you're thick you're fat you're rich you're bad you're poor you're black you're white you're whack they lie it's fat tell you to be yourself until they cancel you for it so true but some of us that's all we can be like i'm not gonna come on here and be fake i'm not gonna be phony i'm not gonna hide my opinion or shy away from things because I mean, I'll catch certain things on YouTube, but it's very hard to find people that will, on a relatable level, talk to you about the real things. Nobody wants to touch the touchy topics because they might get canceled. So I hope you guys realize that I literally talk about the things I talk about to start a conversation genuinely to share genuinely and because I care genuinely. And I would rather bring as many of us together as I can and have a community and have people that you know are there. You're not standing all by yourself in your thoughts all the time. That's all. So again, and I'm always here. You guys know that. So if you need me, you know how to find me. needs a bunch of free condoms because common sense ain't that common this is what they wanted this is how they planned it this is to control everyone on the planet
Didn't we just talk about that? It's to control everyone on the planet. It, it's a really brilliant idea if you think about it. They keep you divided. You're, they have you in chaos. You're fighting with each other. Nobody remembers what they were fighting for to begin with. That got lost. You don't remember or have, you're not paying attention to the fact that the government isn't doing anything that they said they were going to do to help any part of it. Then they come in and do act like they're going to do this or that because you've forgotten about the 10 things they were to do. They come in with one thing and do half of it and, you know, they could still be the big, you know, superheroes and more powerful and then they have your buy-in and on and on and on does the cycle go. So we have to eventually stand together and from all sides of the table, all, both sides of the aisle, everyone, and start putting the right people in Washington, D.C. and in our state legislatures, etc. And we need to start holding them accountable to us because they work for us. And that, I mean, does anybody anymore feel like the, that they do? do? Do they seem relatable? Do they seem like people that work for you, the public? Or do they seem like elitists constantly putting on some performance or, you know, being loud when they want the attention and to be heard or creating a photo op? I mean, it's just nonsense. They work for us and we need to start putting people in office that remember that so that they're actually there doing things that benefit us all as a whole together. Anyway, sorry guys, I can go on a whole tangent. He does it to me every single time. So sorry. All right, here we go. We're almost done. We put each other in caskets, protest and panic, and they take advantage to manage the damage. We won't always agree. No, nope. freedom doesn't come free. No, nope. there was people fighting, dying overseas so that you get that freedom and be. So we just literally talked about it, so you get it. Freedom isn't free. Oh, I think the elites are real, but they ain't drinking babies, but they're creating chaos, so they have something to save you from. Black Lives Matter. That is so, that just really freaked me out. They, they're creating chaos, so they have something to save you from. I'm pretty sure, I'm going to go back after I'm done with this and watch, that I literally just said they have chaos and fighting and this and that, and then they come in like, that was just so weird. You know, those like, almost like deja vu. I, I don't know. I don't know. That was odd though. Like that literally like, freaked me out <laughs> I don't know it's hard to explain so there you got a real reaction because yeah <laughs> matter, all lives matter what's all this division for it's modern segregation this is setting up a civil war burn the circus down because the world is full of clowns they're all stupid and they're proud painted smiles on their mouths I don't hang with bozos homie I can't be around you Okay, guys, so that was uh, Clown World by Tom McDonald. He has a lot to say a lot of the time, and so do I. Um, even if we don't agree on every single thing, um, he still makes a lot of valid points that the, uh, I almost want to say irony, but I don't think that's what I was looking for. It'll come to me eventually someday, probably in the middle of the night when I'm asleep, but just how we had literally just said something and then a few minutes later he's singing almost the same thing that we were talking about based on something he had said previously. So odd. But see, that's just even, maybe that's an example. Like, see the commonalities you can find if you're already having the conversation. It... So even if you don't agree on everything, you've already found some commonality in, in certain things that you think about. So why not come together on those things? You don't have to like and love everything about the next person. You really don't. 
and it's not going to do anything to you unless they are actually a hateful, repulsive, awful human being. And of course there are those kind of people, but that number is few in comparison to the good. And we just get hung up on the silliest things. So yeah, of course, um, that video is just incredible. I mean, I'll just say that much. Like the visuals are phenomenal. So as usual, he started the conversation for me, which I appreciate. And um, I hope you do too, I guess. So guys, again, please remember to go check him out. Send him some love. Um, even if it's a dislike, just give him the engagement. He deserves that much. And I think that's it. So I appreciate you. You are valued. Um, you are welcome here, everyone, always. And um, yeah, if you need to talk, want to chat, you can reach me in the comments. You can reach me on Twitter, on Instagram. Sometimes I'm a little slow with checking my messages, but I will get to it. Or if you write in the comments, hey, I emailed you or whatever, um, that way I know to, you know, to check something in case I haven't yet. But I'm trying to be better with that. I'm trying to make sure I have reminders for myself. And yeah, my voice is already scratchy and I'm about to jump into another video with you guys here as soon as I get done with this one. So, okay. And if you guys would like to go live and talk about some stuff, let me know and we will do that. So just leave that down in the comment section. I appreciate you. I value you. You are worthy. You are incredible. You are talented. Set a goal for yourself. Visualize it. Feel yourself already at that goal. You're already there. You've already achieved it. You've already made it. Whatever it is, one specific thing. Feel it, be it, live it. And then from that moment on, continue to live like you've already reached that goal. Visualize it as often as you can. What it would feel like if it's somewhere that you're moving to, visualize like you're there. What does your house look like? Describe it to yourself. Hold tight to that. And then take steps every day forward within it. And you'll get there. And with that, I love you guys so much and I appreciate you and I value your thoughts and your opinions and you just for being here. I hope you have an amazing weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.